right, guys, Hellspawn Collectibles are here again with another review, probably about my fifth one for today. Um, I've had this thing sitting next to my desk, or sitting next to my TV on my desk for the longest time, and uh, every time I do a review, I'm pretty sure it's in the background, but I've actually never done a review on it. Um, this is the Sideshow Collectibles quarter scale Boba Fett premium format figure. There is nothing to say about this figure except, damn, it is cool as hell. Um, this figure was actually given to me as a Christmas gift from my friend Chuck, the same guy whose uh, Cortana statue I broke, but managed to fix and save for him, um, and actually make it look better, mind you. Um, but this was given to me uh, by him as a Christmas gift, and I'm still much appreciated uh, to him for that, or indebted to him, or whatever word you'd like to use there. Um, this thing is cool. Uh, it, as with all the other premium format stuff that uh, that Sideshow does, it uh, is a molded body with actual clothing uh, dressed to the figure. The armor pieces, the jetpack, the head, um, that's all molded. Um, that's all like plastic or resin or whatever it is that they use for it. But the, uh, the cape, all the flight suit, um, the neck ring, and uh, all of that is all um, fabric. Um, these retail, I think when Sideshow first released them, they were about 300 bucks. Uh, this was $350 in a local comic shop. Uh, nobody ever bought it. It sat there and sat there and sat there and sat there and sat there. And uh, my buddy just decided to make my year for me by buying this. So... Uh, just about as cool as the wife getting me that free Celtic mask from Sideshow. So, um, cool stuff. 10 out of 10 out of 10. This 15 out of 10. They, they, there's nothing I... They, I can't say enough good things about this. Lately, I've seen Sideshow putting out some real crap work, like with the chopper mask, but this is just grade A 100% awesomeness by Sideshow. Um, the jetpack is separate from the actual figure itself. Uh, there's two there's there's two little hooks on the jetpack on each shoulder and there's two little loop systems um, on the back here where the jetpack rests in so you can see there are the two little uh, fasteners on there I don't want to take it off it is a bit of a pain to get back on um, also all the pockets are all separate um, the knee pads are molded but they're separate too shut up shut up um, on the front here underneath the knee pads are where the pouches are all of his little individual tools are in there. So, like, uh, I don't know what the heck you call them, probably like vibro blades and all sorts of other stuff, whatever they are in the, in the Star Wars universe. Um, like, picks. Um, over here, there's like this weird looking thing. Come out. Maybe, if it wants to come out of the pocket. This thing right here. And then uh, this, I think, is his like tactical knife or something like that. Get it out of the pocket. Come on. Yeah, that looks a lot like a knife there. So um, <laughs> it's just cool. I mean, no detail has been missed uh, on this thing. Um, even the uh, Wookie braids over his shoulder are there. Um, those are actually like braided fake hair. Um, and then if you look at uh, the tubes on his flamethrower, those are actual urethane tubes that they put on there. They're actual tubes. Um, just, I mean, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, the only posability that these have, though, and I don't think all of them have posability, but this one, the head does move. Uh, it seems like it's on a bit of a ball joint, so you can turn the head or pose the head how you want. I've got it looking down and turned to the side a little bit, uh, just like from uh, Return of the Jedi, where he's standing in the back of Jabba's palace. Um, other than that, it is what it is. You can't really do too much with it. It comes off of the base. There are two pegs um, coming out of the base uh, where holes in the bottom of Boba's feet go. Um, I don't want this to fall, so I'm going to be very careful here. If you look on the base, it's molded like Tatooine and painted like Tatooine. You can see his boot prints in the uh, the sand, which I think is really cool. The only thing about it is, it does it is kind of chewed up here, along the bottom, which kind of sucks. 
Um, but whatever, you know, it's the Star Wars premium format quarter scale figure, Boba Fett, episode uh, 6, Return of the Jedi. It's number 1,398 of 2,000. Um, so, this thing is neat. Get one if you can. Um, they do still have some on eBay. Most of them, though, are up in the $400 range now, uh, especially if you get the exclusives. Um, again, I'm going to pick the camera up. I'm going to go ahead and give you a little uh, up close of some of the uh, stuff. You can see the helmet is just amazing. The paint job is just spot on, perfectly accurate, all the way down to the gloves and the weathering on the gauntlets, the Blastec EE3 blaster rifle that he uses. Um, there is weathering on the pockets and stuff. You can see dirt and stuff like that. And down to his feet there. I'll spin them around for you so you can get a good look at the back. There's the uh, the Wookiee braids and the leather belt that he wears underneath there. Uh, the urethane tubes. Oops, sorry. Uh, urethane tubes, Wookiee braids, and the leather belt underneath that he wears. Um, the jet pack. Back of the helmet. There's his cape, all made out of fabric. It's all got holes in it and stuff too. Uh, really cool stuff, man. This thing is just amazing. <laughs> Anyhow, um, if you need, like I said, if you have the money to get one, I would definitely pick one up. Um, it is definitely worth the uh, the three four hundred bucks that you pay for it. Um, Fifteen out of ten, sideshow, two thumbs, way 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 up. Um, keep it up. Hopefully the Jack Sparrow premium format will look this good. Um, I do have the exclusive on order. I'm desperately awaiting that. I think my wife is just as excited. It's probably the only toy or doll or whatever the hell my wife calls them uh, that she's actually excited for me to spend 300 bucks on um, because she's a big uh, Johnny Depp slash Jack Sparrow fan. So, um, nothing but awesomeness here, man. Sideshow, I applaud you. Um, please keep up the good work and uh, let's kind of turn around some of this bad rap that we've been getting lately with some of our prop replicas like the <coughs> Predator masks, specifically the Chopper. Um, but uh, yeah, amazing. Uh, if you guys have any other questions about it or if you'd like to see anything else reviewed, let me know. Uh, if you like my reviews, please subscribe and also check out my YouTube channel uh, for other stuff. There's Halo, Predator, Aliens, Pirates of the Caribbean, Transformers, Star Wars, um, you name it, it's all there. So uh, let me know if there's something uh, that you'd like to see. And if I ever see it for a decent price, I'll pick it up and bring it home and review it. You guys keep on collecting and uh, we'll talk to you soon.